Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, gradients. And gradients are, uh, it's a property. It's a way to get an object to look one color on a certain side and transition to another color on, on another side. So uh, I've created a very simple face. And uh, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to control D and I'm going to duplicate this face. And I'm going to move it over to the right because I want you to see what one looks like without a gradient and what the other one looks like with a gradient to give you an idea of comparing why you would want to use one or not. Now, when we talk about things like um, you know laser cutting and vinyl cutting in Creator Studio class, those things won't uh, a gradient isn't necessarily something you would use for those, but it is a good tool just in terms of graphic design in general to have. So. Uh, so what you do is you, you have an object that you want to set a gradient on and you select it. And then off to the left here you'll see this tool that looks like uh, um, almost like two marshmallows stuck on a stick. Um, and that's called your gradient tool. And you're going to click on that. And then you're going to choose where you want to start your color and where you want to end it. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to click and hold and drag up. And so right now what it's doing is it's saying start with the original color and go towards uh, blank or you know in this case uh, transparent okay and then I'm going to click away so you can kind of get a comparison of the two so you can see the effects of what this gradient is doing um, but the nice thing is the gradient itself can actually be changed in a number of ways so if I click on that object again and click on my gradient um, notice that I can select the beginning color and the end color the end color doesn't have to be uh, transparent. An end color could be blue, for example, or or red, and the beginning color could be, you know, purple. Um, it it really depends on how you want to structure your gradient and what it means for you. Um, I think having a dark color at the bottom and a light color at the top um, gives a sense of uh, three dimensions almost. So I'm going to do something like like that and click away and. If you look at that, in that case, it almost looks like uh, it's not just a circle, but a sphere, that it's actually a round ball. So it does give a little bit of, uh, the gradient does give an effect of uh, three dimensions. Okay, so that's uh, the, the very basics of gradients.